Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be a full face using makeup that is under $10. This is kind of just like the drugstore makeup challenge, but you know, drugstore makeup can be above $10, obviously. So, um, all the products I'm going to be using today are all under $10, so it's going to be extra affordable. And by the way, my bed is kind of messy in the back, so we're, we're just going to pretend that's not even there. Because, like, it's really not. Like, it's technically not even there. So, um, I'll put the prices of the products on the screen for y'all, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, so first for primer, I'm going to use two, and they're both from Wet n Wild. Under my eyes, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus um, Hydrating Balm Stick under my eyes. And then for all over my face, I'm going to use the Dewy Primer from Wet n Wild. I'm just going to put the this one under my eyes to like de-puff and all that nice stuff. I'm gonna rub that in. This um, primer stick is really nice and cooling and just like really moisturizing. So it's like really good for depuffing underneath your eyes. You can put it all over your face. I have before and it just feels really nice. Um, so now I'm gonna take the dewy primer. I'm just gonna rub that in. It gives you a nice glow. And it definitely does not leave a greasy feel on your skin. Like, it's not greasy at all, actually. It really just gives you a nice glow. So, yes. It's very nice. Look at that. Wow, we are dewy. I'm going to go put my hair up and wet my beauty blender, and I will be back to do foundation. Okay, so I'm back. And I look like an egg. So for foundation, I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Cushion Foundation. This is in Nude Beige. I have a feeling this is going to be a wee bit dark. I have not used it yet. It's literally like brand new. And I got this quite a bit ago. Literally brand new. It still has a seal on it. Um, oh. <sighs> yeah, this might be like a smidge dark. But this foundation is beautiful. And it's really, really affordable for a foundation, to be honest. And it's super, super nice. So I'm just going to stamp... Oh, I love this foundation. This is too dark. Oh my god, the seal is still on the mirror. Crap. Mirror. Ugh. Whatever. Went while being difficult to that film. But the finish of this foundation is honestly just so beautif beautiful. And like, I just, I love it to death. I can't. Like, this is one of the best drugstore foundations I've probably used. Um... Come on, seal. Oh my god, I almost have it. It's just like not. Okay, okay, got it. <laughs> um, okay, the shade match isn't that bad, to be honest. Like, it's not that bad. But what was I saying? Oh, yeah. One of the best drugstore foundations I have used, without a doubt. I highly recommend it. If you have sensitive skin, you might not want to use this one because it does have like coconut oil in it and I don't know how that would react to your sensitive skin but if you don't then I'd say go for it because it's again it's super affordable and super nice so why not okay so now that we have our foundation laid and she looks so nice and snatched and glowy now it's time for concealer so for concealer, I'm going to mix the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer and the Catrice liquid camouflage. Both of these are super amazing. This one's more matte and this one is like a more natural finish. So it'll kind of like mellow the e.l.f. one out. What shade is this in? This The Catrice one is in light natural and the e.l.f. one is in light peach. What I'm going to do is take the e.l.f. one, put um, it more on like my inner corners of my eyes. Just to more so brighten in that area. You definitely do not have to mix your concealers and like use like a ton of different ones. Both of these individually are great. Um, I recommend them both and they both have lovely coverage. So, but yeah, like I highly recommend guys. Okay, so you all know how I do blending the face concealer first. Ch -ch -ch. 
Party like the summer Fucking like no other Don't you tell Okay, so concealer is laid. Now we need to set it and forget it. But I'm gonna take the Maybelline Better Skin Powder and my little powder brush, and I'm gonna go under my eyes for a quick initial set. So they just like don't crease, and so when we do bake, the concealer will not lift. Or like just go patchy in some places. Don't want that. So we have that laid, and I'm going to take the same powder in this flat, like wet and wild foundation brush, and I'm gonna blend out the foundation, make sure there's no creases, and I'm gonna use this to set like my T zone. I'm not I'm not gonna go like in the perimeter. I'm just gonna set like right in the center of my forehead. And now I'm gonna take um this LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in the shade Almond, and I'm gonna cream contour with a little bit of this. I love a good cream contour. I never get to do it because like, I don't know. It just takes up a, like a lot of time. To blend that out, I'm gonna take this e.l.f. small stipple brush and I'm gonna blend that girly out. same brush and the same powder I'm just gonna just like set it so when we add our powder bronzer it doesn't get all weird and splotchy because like you just nobody wants that to bronze I'm gonna take this wet and wild contouring palette in Dulce de Leche and I know it's contouring but this is a quite warm color for my skin tone and I'm gonna take that on a Morphe M405 and I'm, should I take it on this? I don't know. This is my contouring brush. We'll try it. I'm just going to add that on top to add some warmth to our contour and to just make everything just come together. Add a little bit on the jawline down here. I think for my forehead, I'm going to take my Eco Tools stippling brush and get in that stuff a little bit and just lightly like airbrush that over for a more flawless finish. And then I'm just going to dust some over my nose. I'm not going to go full ham nose contour. I really just want like a light bronze on my nose. Okay, amazing. So now I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in Fair and set bake and bake my under eyes as well as carve out underneath my contour okay so now while i'm cooking it's time for brows i have my nyx nyx micro brow pencil i'm pretty sure this is under ten dollars if it's not i'm so sorry but i'm pretty sure it's like 7.99 or something like that and then over top i'm probably going to use the essence make me brow brow gel in 02 brownie brows and my nyx brow pencil is in taupe so i'm gonna go do those and i will be right back okay so i'm back brows are on i honestly like really like how they turned out now i'm gonna wipe off my bake with this morphe m554 it's just like a little flat brush it's perfect for wiping off bake or setting under your eyes you can just like pack it on i love it um but we're just gonna wipe that off um also i primed my eyelids with the catrice 
concealer and then set it with the Maybelline Loose Powder. And we can start doing our eyeshadow now. So I'm really excited about eyeshadow. I hope it turns out cute. So I think I'm going to do like a little mixy mixy maybe with the Wet n Wild um, Not a Basic Peach Palette and the e.l.f. Mad for Matte Summer Breeze eyeshadow palette. Wait, this might be over $10. No, I think it's $10 exact. Yeah, okay, so this e.l.f. palette right here, I'm pretty sure it's like $10 exact, depending on where you get it. I think that's how much it is at Walmart. And these Wet n Wild palettes are like 4 or $5 or something like that. So yeah, we're just going to do our shadow with that. I'm going to take that on this little Wet n Wild blender, and I'm going to start with the shade right here. It's like a nice mustard color. And I'm going to dip my brush into that. And I'm going to put that as my transition. After I've taken that kind of mustardy color, I'm going to dip into the Wet n Wild one. And I'm going to go in with this shade right here. It's like a very vibrant orange. And I'm going to take that on a Morphe M505. Dip a little bit into that orange. Look at that pigment. It's very, very nice. And I'm going to pack that on my outer V of my eye. Just like that. Like, look at that pigment, guys. From a, like, $4 eyeshadow palette. These Wet n Wild eyeshadow palettes are amazing. I love them. I'm going to start blending that. I'm going to go back into that mustard color from the e.l.f. palette. And just dust that over the orange to make sure everything is nice and seamless. Yes, green. You really could use one of these Makeup Revolution palettes, but I figured since I just did a video using this palette, I wasn't going to use it. But these are $7 and they are stunning and you get 15 shades. If you haven't seen my most recent video using that palette, um, it's a spring makeup look. I'll definitely link it in the description box so you can go watch that. I really love how that look turned out. Okay, I think I'm going to go back to the Wet n Wild palette and I'm going to use this color right here. And I'm going to take that on a Morphe M505. And I'm going to deepen everything up just a little bit more. I'm just going to tap that on the outer part. And really blend that and focus that in the outer part of my eye. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack this kind of like peachy color all over my lid. And I'm not going to use concealer as a base. And I'm going to see how it packs without concealer. But if I end up needing to go in with some as a base, I will. But for now, we're just going to see how it looks without it. Okay, I think this is adding nicely without a concealer base. So hopefully it continues to look nice and cute. Wow, that looks really pretty. Okay, so I kind of left like my inner corner like a little bit blank. And I think I want to take this bone color and whoa, that's bright. This bone color in the e.l.f. palette. Take out my little e.l.f. smudge brush. You all already know the Tay. Take that little white bone color from that and just put that on my inner corner to keep it matte, but also make it nice and bright. Oh, oh my God, that's so pretty. Wow, live. Wow, that bone color is really nice on the inner corner. It might pop a little bit on my brow bone. So now for the lower lash line, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix this mustard color, the orange we use from the Wet n Wild palette, and that may be it. I may deepen it up a little bit with this color we used from the Wet n Wild palette. But yeah, I'm going to take the mustard color and fluff that with the Morphe M505 and then 
the orange from this and possibly this shade down here i'll let you guys know what i end up doing okay so what i did with my lower lash line is i put down the mustard color and then i put down the orange from the wet and wild color and then i took on this pencil brush right here i took this shade and like packed it really close to my waterline and fluffed it out and i think that looks really nice and pretty so yeah there's the beautiful all matte eyeshadow look okay so for mascara i'm gonna curl my lashes and then take the covergirl clump crusher in black and put that on my lower and upper lashes and we'll come back okay so mascara is done and i love it this clump crusher by covergirl is honestly really nice also while i was doing that i remembered i forgot to do blush so we're gonna go and do that so i have these wet and wild ones i have pearlescent pink and mellow wine I think Mellow Wine's really gonna like go with our eye look, so I'm gonna use that one today. I'm gonna take that on a Morphe M105. Mellow Wine right here. Oh, by the way, I broke my lid, so she's like barely holding on. Um, and these Wet n Wild blushes are so pigmented and nice. Like, look at that, that's so pretty. They're like really, really pigmented. So you really need to make sure you like dust them off when you use them. Just right on the apples of my cheeks and then pull it back. And then up on the side of the nose, over the nose, you know. Just cute and everywhere. Look at that. I like really just like matches the look. And then I'm going to put the slightest amount on my chin. Like that. Wow, blush is so cute. I used to really not like blush, and then I started watching Ryan Potter a lot, and he's like a blush army, you know? But yeah, like, blush is the move, guys. So this is what our makeup look is looking like so far. So for the base of my highlight, I'm going to take the ColourPop um, highlighter in Lunch Money. I know this is not drugstore, but it's under $10, and their highlights are super, super nice. So I'm just going to take that on my finger and tap that on. And we're going to use that as a base for our loose highlighter that we have that's also really stunning as well. Okay, so now that we have that laid down, I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Loose Highlighting Powder from the Zodiac Collection and Written in the Stars. I don't know if this is still available, but they have more shades in their loose highlighters. And it's literally just like the same formula, just a different shade and not part of the Zodiac Collection. And they're stunning. So, if you can't get the Zodiac one, that's completely fine. They have more and different shades that are just as amazing. So, I'm going to take that and just top that ColourPop highlighter off. Ooh, these are so... These are amazing. Wet n Wild really hits it with highlighters from the drugstore. Like, they really have them. The best ones. Put a little bit in that brow bone. Hold that nose so there's that we are nice and glow mm, i haven't used this gloss on camera yet and these are amazing glosses like these are so nice i'm going to take nyx suede lip liner in sandstorm in the wet n wild liquid cat suit um high shine lipstick aka lip gloss that's like really pigmented in sin nudes these are amazing lip glosses. They're not sticky. They're pigmented and opaque. And they are, I think, the same price as their Liquid Katsu liquid lipsticks. Which, if you if you like know those, they're not expensive at all. So, yeah, I'm going to line my lips with this pencil. And then I'm going to take the lip gloss in the shade Send Nudes. And just throw that on. I really hope this matches the look because I haven't used these lip glosses on camera and they need to be shown. Oh my god, look at that opacity. This is such a beautiful color. They have a ton of shades in these, honestly, and I highly recommend picking them up. Wow, look at that. That looks so pretty. Beautiful. So, last step, I'm going to take one of my little Mario sprays. This is the Sage and Orange Blossom one. Again, I know this is not a drugstore, but um, this size is $5, and 
like the medium size is seven now the biggest size you can get is 12 so that's not under ten dollars but you have two size options that are under ten dollars with these sprays and they're super nice and we just like completely take away the powdery look of your makeup I like a lot and plus it smells amazing it's so good I'm just gonna like tap it in with my beauty blender to get it in my skin so if y'all enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave and I really like this makeup look is so pretty like I love it so I hope you all found some nice products in today's video and if you have any questions just leave them in the comments and I'll respond I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.